Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Creator on Wheels. I'm Shiv, and hope you guys are doing happy and healthy. Welcome back to yet another Nissan Kicks video. I know the last four videos on this channel have been around my car itself because I do see in the YouTube uh, studio that there are a lot of comments on my uh, car related videos and uh, there is specific other reasons why I'm not doing videos on my bike as well which you will come to know very soon. Why is that whenever I start doing a video in my car there is an ambulance or there's a convoy or something like that going if you notice even in a couple of my previous videos that was the case uh, let him pass by all right so this video is about the negative aspect of nissan kicks one specific negative aspect which i don't like at all okay i've been talking so much positive about nissan kicks not that i uh, because i own it or uh, i have spent <laughs> so much money on it and i bought it and i don't want to feel bad about it it's just the car is good no doubt about it ask any uh, nissan owner or any nissan kicks owner they'll definitely say the car is very good but there is this one specific thing about my car which i don't like or very specific about Nissan case, not just my car, it's the case with everything. I somehow have not checked out the Magnite, this issue is same uh, even with them. But um, yeah, so that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. And that key thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is this particular key fob. Yes, this is the key fob that I'm going to talk about. And the simplest thing or a simplest summary that I can give you is it's ugly. I mean, look at it. It looks like a, it's like a, a, a credit card which went on a pizza eating spree. It, it looks like that. It's like it's big, fat and like how do you even call it as like a, a good user design actually. And I don't know. The, every time I hold that key in my hand, I... I feel very awkward because the shape is so odd okay and on top of it it's not comfortable to keep it in your front pocket okay and because because of the key ring and I have a, a additional key on it uh, my house key is attached to it so it will look odd and if you put it in your back pocket if you sit there are very good possibilities that if you're sitting on a hard surface you will break it into pieces and it does not fit into your um, uh, uh, the coin pocket that is there in your denims okay it's it's as simple as that i mean it does not have an actual key actually it has it has a tiny emergency key uh, you just press a button i'll see if i stop in any of the signals i'll just show that but uh, all that it has is three um, all that it has is four buttons as you can see lock unlock lock unlock and boot and there's a light button the parking light button that's all nothing else uh, there is a small button here if you press it an emergency key will get uh, released and it's it looks like a small pin nothing else so just to open your car so uh, just like any other modern cars uh, it is a keyless uh, ignition this has a, a remote start stop option you you need to have your keys in your pocket when you're uh, in the car or near the car you want to lock the door or you want to unlock the door you want to start the car you want to stop the car the key has to be with the driver okay that's the simplest thing i can say and that's a fantastic feature i'm, I'm pretty sure even the other cars have a similar thing uh, the best part is like if i'm standing near the car I, or rather if i'm not standing near the car and if i'm near the back uh, back door the person who is standing near the front door they won't be able to unlock it it's as sensitive as it i think the range is the way they have decided the design the range is uh, very impressive because you need to be exactly around this seated area if the keys goes anywhere beyond four to five feet away from me the the um, alarm starts going off on the dashboard telling that uh, uh, key not in the range or something like that which is all good okay those things are fine but this whole where did it go okay yeah it's here this whole design man it like it looks so ugly there is one nissan badging on the back and like look at this look at how thick it is and how flat 
I mean, the previous car I had, the, the Volkswagen, it had a very decent looking key fob. And if you look at all the other key fobs from uh, the competitive brands, I mean, this looks very ugly. Uh, it runs on a battery. Um, I think it's CR2032. And uh, what it comes by default is a CR2032H, if I am right. Uh, that's a rechargeable version. So what you need to do is like if the battery goes down, uh, there is an option in the glove box. There's a small slot. You need to put the key in the slot and you continue driving and um, it will get charged up. That's exactly what they say, but it does not work like that. So it has happened that this is, this is the primary key that I've been using since last uh, three years. And uh, I think almost a year back, the battery went low and you get it, get the notification on the dashboard that uh, the key, uh, the key card battery is low. I try to put it in the glove box. Uh, maybe I'm not putting it wrong. I need to go back and search where is the user manual and um, get to understand the correct orientation. But uh, I can tell you that I've tried it in both the orientation, which is uh, the one wherein the buttons are facing up and the other thing wherein the Nissan badging is there. I've tried to insert it in both the ways. It, it detects that there is a key. Um, and the car starts, stops everything, but it does not charge. The battery does not get recharged at all. I don't know if it is the problem with the cell that is used or the way I'm putting it or whatever, it does not get charged. And there was one instance last year wherein um, it said it can't continue because, I mean, it cannot start the engine or unlock or something like that because the car battery is like completely low. And I did not have any option other than going to the nearest uh, watch repair shop, uh, pick up a, a CR2032 battery and replace it. The way to the, uh, you can replace it very easily. It just takes like a few seconds. You just press a button, the thing comes out and you remove the old battery and to put the new one and it works perfectly. But just that according to Nissan, what they have designed is a rechargeable key fob and the battery that was given to us in by default is a rechargeable one i think that 2032h means a rechargeable but when you put it in that slot the charging slot in the glove box i don't nothing is happening it's not getting charged i have done a long drive wherein the key was completely there for almost two to three hours it was there but uh, the end result was still the same you remove it and it says that key card battery low so that's one thing that I'm really, really uh, not liking about uh, the whole thing around my Nissan Kicks. This particular key fob. First thing, yes, the design is ugly. It looks ugly. It's not user friendly to carry around and all those things. Second thing is this whole uh, the recharge experience. Right now I have a uh, battery which is running fine, there is no issue and I have ensured that I have enough um, backup batteries uh, in my glove box as also in my house, so it does not cause me a problem. Uh, you might ask me like uh, why, didn't, uh, why didn't I use the spare key or the secondary key. Uh, in fact like when I had that issue last year, I picked up that key and I realized that the car, that key was completely dead. It did not even have the charge that the current one had. So I just left it there. Uh, I do see few people suggest that keep rotating your keys and all those, but, but I don't know if I'm not comfortable. I just kept the spare key in a safe place and I don't want to be removing that and keeping it there and all the stuff. And as I told you, I have few keys in my, not right now, but I do carry um, keys with me, which, uh, for the, the type of lazy person that I am, I don't want to keep removing the keys from this uh, key fob and put it to the other one and keep swapping it every now and then. Anyway, so I don't know if, uh, if this is one thing which is which should drive your decision towards buying or not buying your um, Nissan car or Nissan Kicks car. But again, this is something which I don't like about uh, my Nissan Kicks and that's why I thought like, let me make a negative video about Nissan Kicks, which I don't know if the algorithm likes it or whatever uh, but i hope i'll educate people about the type of key fob like if somebody is very 
uh, fond of uh, flashing their key fob when they are in a public place like a cafe or a hotel and all like people have the habit of keeping their um, key fob on the table which draws attention which uh, starts conversation and all those things but this is not one of them them like as i told you it looks like um, fully bloated credit card which is not very uh, comfortable to carry and all those things so that's the video about the nissan kicks key fob i'm recording this on the evening uh, the previous part of the video what you sh saw already was actually recorded in the morning i am recording this in the evening because i realized that i forgot two points that i wanted to tell uh, and those two points regarding the key fob are uh, point number 1 is that if your uh, windows are open when you get off your car and um, like maybe like one of the windows or all of the windows are open uh, there is no option for you to close that using a key fob because i do know for sure that there are other cars which allow you to do that wherein you press and hold the lock button for i think 2 or 3 seconds it will not just lock the car but also close all the windows um, that option is not there in this particular key fob then the other thing is that my car is a 2019 model and the key fob does not allow to do remote start um, i think from what i've heard or seen Uh, the next version i think the 2019 or the 2020 version allows you to do a remote start uh, remote uh, start of the engine but uh, no my car does not have that option i even try to see if there is some option to do some kind of like a software update or key fob change or anything uh, but the key fob change is a much costlier affair than uh, what i thought but uh, the software update is definitely not an option so remote car start is not available in this one and um, the power window closing when you are outside the car that option is also not available so i had missed updating these two points so i'm just coming back again and recording this see you on the other side now if you feel that this is something which might interest somebody who is considering buying a nissan car please do share it with them and uh, if you really have any questions around it uh, please do let me know in the comment section below or if you have a car which has uh, even uglier looking key fob then please do let me know i will try to see if i can search for that image in google and see uh, how good i can feel about it because mine might be better than what you are having but um, please do let me know and uh, that's it for this video um, hope you guys liked it and um, i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much bye bye mata sigana